So I wanted to make a quick video um, about the things I'm discovering. Um, you know, because these, these videos are a lot about real life and also about the news just a little bit. Um, the first lawyer I called, uh, he gave me a 10 minute consultation and uh, educated me about a couple of things on divorce. And then he said, oh, you know, we do a flat rate, $6,800 <laughs> just to get started. Holy moly. I said, I said, what the hell? And of course, I, I do have the proposal from my wife's lawyer. And uh, so I'm still crunching the numbers. And of course, she's trying to rush me along. And uh, I understand that, you know, they don't want me to have too long to think about things and figure out what I'm going to do with the divorce. And, uh, and I keep saying, what's the hurry? What's the hurry? And then, of course, she says she's going to file because at this point, it's just a dissolution of marriage. And uh, that's going to cost me a hell of a lot less money than uh, if, if she lawyers up and I lawyer up. I mean, you could be looking at twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 in lawyer fees just to get the divorce done. You know, if, if you have any assets at all, I mean, if you if you dirt poor, I guess it probably wouldn't cost you anything, you know. Which is another thing. There was a um, uh, organization that I called, uh, and uh, because I just get disability, and uh, and they were able to give me some advice, and uh, I did appreciate uh, talking to them, and uh, and of course what they were telling me was, uh, you know, I just give you an example, um, just just to educate you a little bit about this stuff. You know, when we got married, my my wife's IRA was worth a certain amount. And uh, I, I won't give the amount. I don't want to reveal uh, any numbers or anything. And then when I went to war in Iraq, uh, when I got back, she had lost a lot of that money. I don't know what happened to it. I, I, the people that were managing her money were doing a very, let's just say they were doing a very poor or bad job. And so I said, something's wrong here, man. I said, we, I need to, to look into this and take it over. And so I took it over. And uh, let's just say I made her a hell of a lot of money over the last 21 years uh, by managing that uh, IRA that she had lost a, a lot of money on. Um, so, you know, that's a point of contention. Uh, but, you know, I'm almost willing to let her keep the money. I'm looking at the, you know, the proposal looks pretty good at this point. So who knows, maybe I'll be divorced. Because uh, if I engage the lawyers, I mean, you're looking at, I mean, hey, I'm telling you, I mean, six thousand eight hundred dollars just to get started. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> anyway, let's end up on the divorce. Let's let's get into the news. I was I was depressed today. I'm not gonna lie. I I just sat in front of the TV and watched news. Um, you know, we've got. I tell you, it's a uh, it's 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 a bad situation. I mean, we got a weak weak president. Uh, you know, cognitively uh, challenged uh, Biden there. And uh, you got Russia sitting on the, U the Ukraine border, beefing up uh, their military, military forces. Um, are they going to invade? If I was Putin, <laughs> I would. You know, you got Millie, that traitor up there in the White House. You know, I, what the hell? Just, just go across the border, take Ukraine, and, and Biden ain't going to do shit about it. Or if they do, I mean, they're crazy, you know. So, uh, you know, whatever. Uh you know, we, of course, we got the fiasco that happened in Afghanistan, and that's what leading to all this. And then, of course, I think China, China's probably going to take Taiwan uh, within the next, well, let's just say six months, you know. So I think they'll, uh, they'll move in and make that move. Biden ain't going to do squat about that. And, of course, you got a woke military. We just lost, um, well, because the vaccine mandate, I think we lost 9,000 Marines and uh, half the Navy SEALs. So your military is being decimated. So basically, the U.S. is being gutted from within. Our military is being gutted. Um, you got your cities. Uh, they've been gutted. Uh, they defunded the police and uh, uh, brought in a bunch of uh, illegal Im immigrants. And, uh, of course, the uh, criminals are, uh, well, I mean, the, the, the kill ratio in the cities has just gone way up. I mean, you know, holy moly. It's like a war zone in Chicago or New York or you name the city, uh, Philadelphia, uh, Seattle, uh, Minneapolis, um, Los Angeles. I mean, holy moly. I mean, it's 
So what they're doing is they're destroying the United States from within. And uh, if you can't see the writing on the wall, uh, you are just got your head in, in the sand, you know. And uh, so I don't know what to tell you. Uh, of course, we have inflation, okay. And then the Democrats, uh, I don't know. I mean, it looks like Biden's poll numbers are so low, maybe they won't get that Build Back Better bill that uh, is going to, uh, destroy the currency. I mean, that's another thing they're trying to do is destroy the currency. I mean, the dollar is going to be worthless. You know, well, that's why you have inflation. And, you know, if you didn't see the writing on the wall, the gas prices were going to go up. I mean, I, you know, when you take down the Keystone pipe, pipeline, destroy the fracking industry, and, uh, and, and end all oil exploration, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> The Democrats. I mean, I you know, it, it just seems to me that the Marxist communist uh, agenda is moving right along because they got to destroy the United States to uh, get their authoritarian control. So anyway, it's just a stupid video. I just thought I'd throw it up because I just sat there and watched the news all day. And I am going to put a link in the uh, video because Dan Bongino, uh, he's, you know, on Rumble. By the way, guy, I don't want to be all gloom and doom, you know. Uh, Rumble's, Rumble's looking pretty good. I mean, you, you've got Rumble and Locals that have merged, okay? And, and you know, I'm, I'm up on Rumble, and, of course, I'm on YouTube. But YouTube has me buried. I'm a conservative in their algorithms. They don't want to listen to me. And if you search for that cybersecurity aisle on YouTube, you won't find me. No way, no, ha no how. Uh, but on Rumble, they just, well, Rumble and Locals merged, and now they just merged with another company, and they've gone public. And in fact, that's the next video I'm going to watch is to talk about that on Viva Fry. Viva Fry, you can watch him on Rumble or uh, YouTube because um, he's bringing on the CEO of Rumble uh, to talk about that whole merger. And uh, of course, I'm very interested in it because I'm trying to make a new business, a new cybersecurity business, and I'm posting my videos on Rumble. So, you know, it's uh, everything's a work in progress. So hopefully I'll be divorced here soon. And, uh, and, and I've got the, inf she left me the infrastructure in the house. I give her credit. I mean, you know, she, she's trying to be honest about things. I think I'm only going to be out. Well, I won't tell you how much I'm going to be out, but it's, it's a significant amount, but it, just, just to get that situation resolved, let's just say that, uh, let's, let's just get it done. Um, so Anyway, I, I, I'm trying to think of anything else on the news that uh, you might want to know about. I mean, because that's all I've been doing all day long is, oh, the trials. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it looks like this, this Jesse uh, guy, uh, man, I tell you, what? <laughs> and, they, and they shouted, MAGA supporter, MAGA supporter. And it uh, looks like he's going to get convicted of fraud. So that'll be good. Uh, and, of course, Kyle Rittenhouse, we all know about that. I watched that whole trial because I was depressed and you know, what What the heck? I had to watch somebody else uh, who was uh, in more pain than me. And uh, so that's good that he, he got uh, uh, freed. Uh, well, we got the Supreme Court. Let's look at that situation, you know. Um, it's looking pretty good that Roe is going to be overturned. Um, now, I, it, you know, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a libertarian um, as far as like divorce, I mean, as far as uh, uh, abortion goes. Um, so, you know, what I'm saying is, uh, you know, I, I'm hoping the Supreme Court just kicks it down to the states. Okay. I think every state, uh, should have their own say on abortion. And, uh, you know, if you want to live in New York and be able to abort a baby all the way up until the, the, the day that, uh, it pops out the womb, you know, good, good for you, man. California, you can, you can live there. If you want to live in Mississippi and they, they ban it all the way down to, uh, you know, uh, conception, um, then you can live there. So I'm all for people being, being able to move around the United States and, uh, and, you know, basically, uh, have their own politics. Now I understand that, uh, you know, that there are certain exceptions, to the abortion thing. I mean, you know, if a woman's raped, I mean, come on, she shouldn't be forced to have that, that child. And as long as she gets it done within the first 15 or 20 weeks, uh, um, you know, I, I can't see having a serial, uh, murderer's uh, baby, you know, I mean, that's, that just seems wrong. I mean, I, I think she has that much authority over her body, you know, I mean, I, if you don't think that and you're just, you know, a strict, uh, you know, 
if if it's because i mean you know there's there's all kinds of things to think about in that whole situation you know is you know because you got a life in there and you know could it could it be a beautiful life i mean when you think about the fact that jesus uh said that the you know when he forgave the prostitute and uh and everybody wanted to stone her for example in the bible i mean you know i so yeah evil people could possibly have a, a good baby you know i mean but at the same time, I mean, it was something that she she never wanted. Um, so I don't know. I mean, you know, these are things that I don't know about. That's why I say kick it back to the states because then if a, if a woman's raped, and then of course if, if the baby's threatening the woman's life, I mean, what do you do about that? Whose life do you save? Do you save the woman or the baby? You tell me. Leave a comment below, okay? Because, I mean, a baby's just coming into existence. So maybe you say, well, the woman just needs to die, and we need the baby, you know. So the whole abortion issues, uh, it's just something that I just try not to think too much about, and that's not how I do my politics anyway. Um, but uh, but I would like to see the Supreme Court just kick it down to the states and, and let, them, uh, let, the, let the local people decide what they want. You know, that's that's the whole principle of the United States. It's not up to the federal government to decide everything that uh, in our lives. Um, so that's another huge thing. Um, what was the uh, there's oh the other trial is uh, the um, oh gosh dang it what what was that uh, guy I uh, can't remember his name um, uh, he had the Allen Epstein yeah Epstein and uh, so he had the Allen I was watching all about that trial. Uh, because his co-patriot, that woman that uh, aided him in that whole doggone thing, um, I, she's more than likely going to jail. But, you know, the, the, the problem I have with it, I mean, there are all kinds of pictures with her with uh, some really influential people. Uh, you know, I can't name them because I don't want to get libeled uh, by some rich people, billionaires. I mean, because there were billionaires that went to Epstein's Island uh, that uh, did some pretty, looks like some pretty evil things. And, uh, and the prosecutor is not going to bring them out in that trial. They just want to rush her off to jail and, and be done with it. And uh, hopefully she won't get killed. I mean, if you think Epstein uh, killed himself in jail, <laughs> I've been in solitary confinement. I'm going to tell you what, there's nothing in there for you to strangle yourself with. So uh, he, was, he was murdered for sure. And, uh, and I'm sure that once she gets to prison, she'll probably uh, get, uh, get stabbed uh, by uh, somebody that's going to take her out, and uh, and then that whole issue will be resolved because the billionaires uh, that uh, went to Epstein's Island are not going to want anybody to know about anything. But that's just my opinion, you know. We'll see. We'll see if I'm right. So uh, where's the country headed? Um, you know, I always like to give a little bit of hope here at the uh, end of the videos. Um, it just it just looks like um, things are turning around, you know. DeSantis, because uh, I'm here in Florida, uh, I tell you what, I mean, his standing up to the whole uh, juggernaut, uh, and I hope that he doesn't get shot or killed. I mean, if they don't take him out, I, I'd be surprised. I guess they can't, don't want to turn him into a martyr, but, uh, but it sure does look like his shining star is uh, moving along. Now, do I want him to leave Florida as governor and become president? Not really. You know, I think President... Uh, well, President, uh, former President Trump has pretty much got a lock in on the 2024 election because the Democrats are just so messed up uh, with their socialist, Marxist, communist agenda. Um, so I, I, I do think that, you know, we don't we could keep DeSantis here in Florida, but of course DeSantis would get elected. He's the best governor. Well, in a Christy Nome in South Dakota, I mean, come on, she's doing a great job. So, uh, you know, and there's, there's other governors, you know, I mean, even Kemp in Georgia, I mean, you know, and, and well, and here's another thing that I did want to talk about briefly is, uh, because you're, if you're looking on the news, um, I mean, look at McConnell. I mean, come on, the turtle, I call him the turtle. I mean, I talk about a rhino. I mean, look at, look at Romney, a rhino, you know, we got to primary these people out. I mean, they, they're, they're. The, well, and Liz Cheney, for example, I mean, come on, you know, all these people that you just basically, you know, Republican in name only, Rhino, okay, we got to primary these people out and get them gone. 
And, uh, and you can look at their voting record, and I put it up on my videos occasionally, and uh, maybe I'll do it with this video, but, uh, you know, we, we, we've got to take back this country, and uh, I think we are. I mean, we'll look, at, look at where we are. we got Rumble now as an alternative to YouTube, which will probably censor this video or bury it. Let's just say they'll bury it in their algorithm because I don't think I've said anything too bad. And, uh, and then you've got um, uh, Parler. And you got Getter, and uh, and then of course Gap. I, I couldn't believe it. The 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 the, the uh, owner of Gap came out with some ridiculous comment today. And uh, like I said, I just been watching news all day. I, you know, and 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 it, I don't know where you get your news from. Of course, you don't want to get it from mainstream media. You know, make sure you're getting it from uh, Rumble mostly. Uh, Dan Bongino does a great job. And like I said, I'll have his link below. All right, that's it for this video. <clears throat> let's let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in the free state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no mask requirements, no jab requirements, and no lockdowns. And we are free to come and do as we please and work wherever we want on whatever job we want, and the economy is booming. So don't tell me the free market doesn't work. You communist, Marxist, socialist, enjoy your lockdowns. All right, that's it. Peace out. Stay free. All right, come on, bud.